Yo, Elliot. Matt Landsman wants to know, while following a strength program like 5x5, five five, do you need a calorie surplus in order to gain strength since it's not muscle per se that you're building? Uh, do you need a calorie surplus when your head hits the pillow like when you're a bodybuilder trying to gain muscle? So it depends. Here's how I'm going to approach this. You really don't need the type of calorie surplus that you need in bodybuilding simply because you're not building tissue to any great degree. Now you are building tissue. Don't get it twisted, but not to the degree that a bodybuilder is. A bodybuilder's objective is to really build lots of that swell. They, they want to build more tissue. They want to get bigger. A power lifter or a strength athlete recognizes that the power that they generate comes from the nervous system. And the nervous system doesn't hypertrophy, muscle hypertrophies. The joints will hypertrophy to a degree and the muscles will get that myofibrillar hypertrophy to a degree, but you're not gonna get that sarcoplasmic swell like a bodybuilder. Therefore, you don't need the calories to support that. But you will recognize that your body will be craving for and asking for more calories to support the work that you're doing while you're training. There's an amount of work. The volume is lower with strength training. The frequency is typically lower with strength training, although the intensity is high, but that just means the nervous system's working. It's not even that it's a, most workouts aren't very metabolic. That's why power lifters tend to gain weight if they eat too many calories and don't do their metabolic resistance training or cardio. So it depends on what you want. Now, a lot of power lifters, world-class power lifters, eat till, they don't count calories, just eat till they're gonna bust because they keep growing stronger and stronger and stronger. And the fat, the body fat percentage, the body fat that that individual holds onto will support his strength. I can't tell you exactly why that happens, but all strength athletes know that if you're carrying a little bit of body fat, you're, you're, just, you're stronger, right? I'm sure there's scientific reasons why, I just don't know why. But if you're trying to get stronger, it's just like, hey, who cares how fat you are, you just eat. If you're trying to look, have a aesthetic appeal to your body, you can continue to get strong, but you've gotta be careful about your cal calorie surplus beyond what is needed for your expenditure. So you get your basal metabolic rate, and then you figure out based on the volume and frequency of working that you're working out that you're doing, how many calories you need, and don't go far beyond that. See, the calorie surplus that bodybuilders and people who are getting weight uh, have go beyond their expenditure. They're going above and beyond. You could stay right where, you just go to where it fulfills your expenditure. And you stick there, and you'll grow stronger. You'll get stronger, you'll get stronger, maybe not powerlifting strong, because like I said, your body fat will be low, but you'll get stronger. Experiment with that, and then slowly increase your, your, your calories. Like I said, you're still gaining some muscle, so you'll, if you gain you know, five pounds of body weight, your basal metabolic rate will go up, and depending on you know, if you're doing extra activities, you know, if you're playing basketball with your friends, or I don't know, whatever, whatever else you're doing outside of the gym, account for that, and increase your calories accordingly. So that's it. You know, it's, it's not the same as bodybuilding. In fact, I think, uh, a lot of power lifters or strength athletes can get away with intermittent fasting more so than what is required of a lot of bodybuilders. You know, a lot of bodybuilders still stay away from intermittent, mass, intermittent fasting because they realize, you know, I've got to get in a certain amount of calories and this is crazy. I can't, I can't skip meals, especially if they're trying to gain mass. If you're trying to gain strength, you can get away with, you know, skipping meals in the early part of the day. And that could be one way to keep your calories in check so you don't get fat while you're getting stronger. So I hope that helps, dude. Peace. Yo, Elliot.